latest day of Cozy Grove. I think it's day 58. I just put it in there, but I'll be honest, I did not sleep real well last night. I uh, had raging allergies, and so I was up. I actually woke up in the middle of the night just to take an allergy pill because I've been really foolish and I haven't been taking them lately. <laughs> Which is why I was probably up all night with allergies. But, um, yeah, here we are. 58, yay! Okay, let's see. Uh, let's check out our bird over here. We've got a, we've got a bird that wants some, uh, salad. So we're gonna give him some salad because I'm gonna hope he gets all big today. And, um, I think, see, I know we need some mushrooms, or not mushrooms, but roots. Mocasita is in my lap, flicking me in the face with her tail. Goofball. Let's see, is today the day? Nope. Oops. Today's the day that we harvest things, so. Um, I have been, like just dragging all day I went to work I was there by myself and my husband he's such a sweet man he packs me like a whole lunch to take with me so that um, I don't get hungry and it's all like healthy good stuff like really good for you stuff like hummus and vegetables and I mean he packed me some orange chicken which isn't super like healthy but still really good and delicious and so I'm not going to complain because I love orange chicken um, <laughs> but he packed me like all these delicious foods and then I got there and uh, I don't know if you guys ever feel this way when you're tired but sometimes when you're really tired you just you crave all the things you shouldn't eat and my boss is kind of a um, candy <laughs> she's got very much a sweet tooth so um, she she wasn't there today but all of her candy was and I was like hmm I'm gonna eat all this candy I'm gonna eat all these caramel M&Ms and um, what else did I have I had a whole bunch of oh dang it I had it there <laughs> I had a whole bunch of Snickers and like just stuff that I probably shouldn't have been eating but it gives you that temporary burst of energy so that you can kind of schlep through the day well that's Toby Toby saying hello Mocha's actually just standing here weirdly on my on my lap right now she's our little calico cat but she's waiting for me to scratch her and until I scratch her, she's just going to stand here like a little statue. Just, you know, just very, very still standing there. She's such a light little petite thing, though, so it's not too bad. And we've got some cats that are some big chonkers. They're not as fun to pick up. <laughs> well, not that they're bad or anything. They're just, they're chonkers. We have one cat also, um, his name is Dirty Kitty, and there's a story behind it. His name is Dirty Kitty only because um, we found him in the parking lot, and I was absolutely 100% against keeping him, but, you know, we tried to find him a home, we tried to do a few other things, and it didn't work out, and he was just the most lovable little guy, so I was like, all right, let's just keep him. <laughs> He's our cat now, <clears throat> but... Dirty Kitty loves to wait for me for when I get home, and um, he comes to, oh, look at, we can combine those. He comes to my car as soon as I pick, or uh, drive up, and then he stands there, and he just waits for pets, but he's the funniest cat because he drools. He uh, drools almost like a dog. Oh yeah, Mocha's flicking her tail because she's been standing long enough. She's like, hey, hey, are you not paying attention? <clears throat> I need butt scratches. All right, let's see. What happened again? I came down here to skip rocks, but I forgot my skipping rocks. I guess I'll just spend the day imagining skipping rocks. We'll help you out, Octavia. No worries. We gotcha. I kind of want to pick this up, but at the same time, I don't. <laughs> 
I know if I pick it up, it'll be a while before I actually bring myself to go to Mr. Kitts. And uh, we'll be stuck with a very full inventory. I think Mocha may finally be settling down. Are you going to lay down, little girl? Mocha is also a uh, cord chewer, unfortunately. So she's actually chewed through quite a few of my uh, headset cords already. <laughs> um, and they're not, ex they're not really cheap to replace, so I've got to keep an eye on her. Um, not a soul survived the accident. Oh, dear. Well, I think my story's nearing its end, Polymore. Squawk! It ends neatly enough where it begins with a wheel. Okay. Help Lee Barry Dennings and you'll get this in return. He may have to help multiple times. Okay. Not a problem. We can do this. This sounds like it's going to be a major part of the story, so kind of curious to see what happens. We've had some major breakthroughs with our bears lately. Let's see. It's terrible. Those wretched imps have made off with my dark roast special brew. Please help me, assistant. I can't possibly get through today without my coffee. Oh my gosh, Valentina, I feel you. <laughs> Look it, it's right down here. I'm going to go get him. Dang it, you little stinker. We need that coffee. Thank you. <laughs> we need one more. One for her, one for me. Let's see, a supply shelf. Okay. We could go down to Jeremy Gruffle, check out what he's doing. Francesca, she's still waiting for our, for our animals to come through. Oops, I thought I had him that time. <clears throat> there we go. That was super easy. Can I help you with something? Those metal hearts we tracked down ages ago, did you know that some of them wouldn't melt? Those ones, I broke. I wonder what happened to the pieces. Hmm, broken metal hearts, a board rack, ooh. Look at everything's right nearby us today. Stick this up. I bet you that's something. Sand piles. Little mocha, mocha, mocha. We call her mocha monkey bat. Oh, I never even finished telling the story about Dirty Kitty. So Dirty Kitty, it's really gross, guys. I'm sorry. But Dirty Kitty loves being pet so much that the minute that you start petting him, he drools. And I don't just mean like a little drool, like drops of drool. And then he'll shake his head. I don't know why he does that. But he shakes his head and it just goes flying everywhere. <laughs> it's so weird. So those are our weird cats. <laughs> Somebody's still stealing my stuff. I'm at my wit's end with it. If the imps aren't the culprits, then who is? All my childhood things got swiped this time. A lot of memories tied up in those. Here, I made a list of all the stuff that's missing. I'll wait for you here, just in case those thieves come back. Oh no! Okay, we can do this. We got this, we got this, we got this. We can do this. This is me self-soothing. <laughs> Oh, look it. We can turn this into Jeremy. Oh, no. Okay. Let's see. Farmhouse. So for farmhouse... Oh, look it. Okay. Rustic and farmhouse. That's why. Okay. So any of these... Let's see what this... I obviously can't make that. I can make those, but not a lot. We got it. Nine of them, guys. Here we go. Sounds great. Let's do it. All right, Jeremy Greville. Thank you. You just took care of my inventory issue and my issue with Lee all in one. Here we go. Now we've got you, Jeremy. 
or Lee. Okay. Take all these. Let's see, we need Joyous and Joyous and these. So actually, I don't want you to take that. I want you to take those. So, okay. There we go. That's everything. You're a true professional. You know that, friend? That feeling when something's missing, when you don't know if you'll ever get it back? It keeps me up at night. By the way, while you were out, I was neatening up my bottle collection and I found something out of place in it. Someone out there is missing a key to their hog. Maybe you can get it back to them? Ooh. I know who that is. A motorcycle key. Hmm. I won't spoil the story for anybody who maybe doesn't know yet. Oops. Oh, let's get this guy. Oh my gosh, you stinker. Get over here. Look at, we got two of them side by side. Okay, a house and a tall stump. Oh, hang on. Before we get any further, we need to swap that out. Oh, look at, good thing we did. My spider sense was tingling. Oops. Oh no. There we go. Perfect. You know, it's kind of funny. No matter how tired I am, when it gets to the end of the day, when I get to play video games, I always just have slightly just that little bit more energy <laughs> I'm like yes I get to play games now I've been watching my regulars a lot more carefully they all sit down tell me a bit about their day wait for their food and when I serve them my daily special du jour they all smile but they don't eat it as fast as I'd expect one customer even dumped his quiche in the trash when he thought I wasn't looking Maybe, maybe I'm just not a good cook? But if that's true, why do my customers keep coming back to my bakery? No, Bright Eyes, don't answer that. It doesn't matter. What matters is that all these years, I thought I was something special, a baking genius. But I'm the opposite, a deluded baker wannabe. Normally at this point, I'd send you out to find some gross ingredient for some gross creation. But today, I think I just need to be alone. Aww. Allison. I think I relate to Allison. I was thinking about it. I'm like, you know, I had some pretty bossy sisters. And I was always a little bit more of a free spirit, kind of like Allison. And my bossy sisters always used to tell me, oh, you can't do that. So I feel for her. I feel like in real life, I'm, I'm a little bit of an Allison. I'm not a very good cook either, <laughs> which is why my husband makes most of the food because, you know, he'll plate it. He does like this whole thing. He, he'll even make like a salad look fancy. Whereas I'm just like, here's some lettuce with some, some just dressing on top. We're good. But he does like, he'll chop the carrots real fine. And then he'll slice some onions real fine. And he dices them just right. He's like, he's a professional. He's got some skills. I'm very grateful. Because without him, I'd starve. All right, can I help you with something? With training, a spirit scout can sense the needs of others. You sensed that I needed something, didn't you? Well, you're right. Observe. I'm thinking of something natural. How about it? Do you think you can find what I'm looking for? Sure as heck can. Impressive. This is exactly what I was imagining. Let's see if I can use my ghostly powers to see what's in your future. Ta-da! It was this, right? Hi, Volbine! How are you today? 
you guys just missed another sad edition of Allison's life. It was sad. She's uh, starting to realize uh, that she's not a very good cook, but she's just got so much heart. <laughs> I hope you didn't work too much today. I hope you actually got a little bit of a break today. Ooh, let's give Flamey some food. Since we're here anyway. Delicious. Ten more logs. Alright. Let's burn some stuff now. Okay. We'll burn all that. Sounds great. Hi! Oh, I was just thinking about you. I was watching a little bit of your stream and I was thinking, are you going to do your Lego stream this weekend? Because if you are, I'm going to watch. <laughs> I have more time on the weekend. I'm hoping I, well, I mean, I kind of hope, but I don't hope that I have more time on the weekend. But uh, I definitely want to watch. I think that'd be awesome. Okay, I am going to, well, I mean, don't feel pressured, but definitely, if you do, I will be tuning in. I think that's going to be awesome. I didn't even see, oh, and I should just, even though it's probably just you two watching, but I'm going to announce anyway. So, BMO just hit 100 followers, and so he's doing a really awesome Lego build stream. And I think it looked like a, is it a tree house that you're doing? It looked like maybe a tree house. It's really big. Ooh, I found a coin. I wonder how long that was there. Okay, it's a big tree house. Do you know how many pieces it is? I was curious about that because I'm just wondering, like, do you know how long it's going to take? Or do you, is it going to be all a surprise you're not sure? Oh my gosh, that's so many pieces. Yeah, oh my gosh, that's going to be exciting. I wonder if it's going to take more than one stream. Oh, most folks think dogs are the natural enemy of the postal worker. Not true. It's the cats. They mess with your mind. Well, you know, actually, I spent about 13 years working in insurance. And uh, I can say... The, it is factual that there are cats that will attack people. <laughs> oh, no, no. Don't even worry about it, Fulpine. Um, I'm glad that it went well for you today. It's really hard. I was just mentioning earlier, I didn't sleep really well um, last night. I just... I had really bad allergies and I had to wake up in the middle of the night and take an allergy pill, which is my fault because I haven't been taking them. And then it took me forever to go to sleep. So I've been dragging all day long. Jeremy is such a great maker. I expected something glorious to grow for him. But I was surprised to see that it was a glittering gem dust. Jeremy doesn't normally like showy things, but maybe he could use a change. Or maybe this isn't a change at all. Maybe I just didn't realize. Hmm. Help him follow his heart, love. Aw, I just love her so much. She just seems like such a sweet... I don't know. I, I really think... Okay. I don't... I can't say it's a spoiler because this is just a guess. But even though her name is Ursula, I kind of feel like this is Lily. And maybe he calls her Lily because she's dressed like a flower. But doesn't it seem like her and Arjun should just be, they should be together. They're just so cheerful and happy and just friendly. Let's see. I should feed my imps. But I'm not going to right now. Let's see. Something big is coming. I can feel it. I better stock up on food. Stuff that I can preserve. You help me and I'll help you, right? 
Oh, heck yeah. I gotcha, guy. Look at You got some fruit and apparently some eggs. Yeah, this'll do nicely. Time to get canning. Oh, right. I said I'd give you something for this. Here you go. Oh, thanks. Just what I needed. Five red mushrooms. Ah. You know what? It's better than a poke in the eye. That's what my mom always used to say. See, now it'll stack with that one. Maybe we'll find somebody who actually wants it. Ooh, look at it. There's like a uh, little coffee stand down here. Must be the latest venture. Clyde hasn't really needed any help. Let's talk to him really quick, just in case. A real entrepreneur never says no to a free lunch, kid. If you see some lost property lying around, grab it. Worst case, the owner comes forward about it. Best case, you can sell it for a little spending money. Easy peasy. <laughs> you are the worst, Clyde. Oh, let's get this guy. Oops. I did not mean to do that, but... I'll take it. Let's see. We've only got one more rock. It's close to a tall stump, so that's got to be by Francesca. Let's talk to Ted today. Have you earned an advanced degree in geology yet? No? Then come back when you do. Goodbye. <laughs> Okie dokie. Moving along. You ever get those people that when you help them they're just crabby anyway and you're like I don't know what else I could do I had one of those in my office today I just try to kill him with kindness so there is nothing else you can do he usually comes and he's just so crabby with me for no reason <laughs> okay let's see we're gonna burn all this. We don't need it, I think. Maybe we'll hold on to that. You know what, maybe we'll hold on to that. But we'll definitely burn that. Let's see. Put stuff in storage. I really want to put stuff in storage, but I don't think I can. I think I kept, I keep doing this and it's just wishful thinking. Put those in storage. Oh, you know what I can do though? Hang on. I'm still used to setting them down this way, but I know there's a better way now. I need to get used to it. We go. We got a flower. We got a lot of pink and peach there, I think. Which isn't surprising. Those are kind of my favorite colors. There we go. Feed you, guy. There we go. Tall tree stump. It's got to be like right here. There's got to be a rock. Is it behind something? Where is it? Yup. Oh man, I've got a lot of somethings here too. Okay. probably too far away. Man, these 
these are the hardest when it's not lit up. There we go. We found it. Yay! Oh my gosh. I have to say this as well. Um, I, I have noticed that when I'm playing sometimes, I have been padding my own stats. Thank you. <laughs> um, I was just uploading. I upload all my videos to YouTube, but sometimes I get a little bit behind. So I was doing that today and I was watching my little video um, where... I was in the dungeons in uh, Garden Paws, and I noticed that when I read my stats, it actually only said that I had 64% accuracy, and I was like, look at that, 67% accuracy, and I'm like, well, no wonder I'm so cheerful. I automatically pad my stats by looking at them, so in my mind, I'm doing awesome all the time. There we go, by a pond, let's see. but I figured I'd at least, like, come clean about my inaccuracies with my own stats. Okay. <laughs> I know, you know, sometimes, especially when I'm streaming, when I'm tired, I'm like, I just make stuff up. I'm like, I don't even, I'm just talking complete nonsense sometimes. Buy a pond. Let's see, we've got to find a pond. Oh, wait. Let me not scare him. We're like niche, National Geographic. National. See, I say things like national when I'm really, really tired. National Geographic. <laughs> oh, goodness. Ooh, that. <laughs> you know, I would totally, I feel like we would get along. I, uh, I talk a lot of nonsense. And it's funny because I was actually, I, uh, I'm a real estate agent. I think I've mentioned that. It's one of my two jobs. But, um, <laughs> I was meeting with a guy one time and he just started like spouting off like random stuff and I was just like yeah uh-huh and he was like I don't know why I'm saying this it's just random and I'm like I don't know I do it too so don't feel bad <laughs> I was like it's like we were kindred spirits just spouting off random stuff to each other it was pretty awesome okay let's empty our buckets here Oh, did I really? Oh, wait, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Where is it? Did I? Hang on, was it here? Where did it go? Near Clyde. Ooh. Hang on. I'm running back. I remember when it felt like when I would run, I'd get so far so fast. Ooh, wait. Clyde. Um, let's see, we're going to look around. Oh, good. Hi, Bimo. Thank you so much. <laughs> you know, I think ADHD runs in my family, so that's totally okay. I, uh, I'm a good listener as well. <laughs> oh, let's get this. I don't know where there's another pond. I'm sure we'll find it though. Oh, wait. Farmhouse fence. Okay. Um, a lemboss. Oh, okay. It's a food. Oh, <laughs> it's totally okay. Um, 
I am the youngest of four children. Um, and it's so it was something where, I don't know, I just always was the quietest because when you're a family of six and everybody has ADHD, <laughs> then there just isn't a lot of room to talk. And um, it took me a while, actually. I have a really bad habit of uh, uh, interrupting people. And so it took me a long time, especially with my husband when we were first kind of dating, to get used to waiting and I had to explain to him I just get so excited I can't help it I just kind of like burst out what I'm gonna say oh that's a reference L lem do you say le is it lemboss lem lembas or lemboss or does it matter am I just saying it fancy if I go lemboss let's burn on this The only thing I remember from Lord of the Rings is all the little meals that the hobbits would have. Eleven seas. I always tell my daughter she's a hobbit because she likes to have eleven seas. Okie dokie, let's see. I think there's a pond maybe up here. Oh, I know. I don't want to pick that up. Lambus. Lambus. Oh, okay. Man, I would have never guessed that. Thank you for that. I'm not going to remember that, and I apologize. So the next time I see it, I'm probably going to call it Lemboss. I'm just going to pretend I'm fancy. I'm saying it the fancy way. Yes, yes, my coffee. And not a moment too soon. Sip. Ah, oh, now I feel grounded again. Get it? Grounds? Oh, never mind. I get it, though. Oh my gosh. Hang on. I saw a joke today on one of... We have actually a veterinarian office near us. And they always put these, like, super corny jokes on them, but they make me laugh so hard. And it was, um, oh gosh, what do my dog and my phone have in common? And the answer is, caller ID. Yeah, she's almost full hearts now. I actually have her motorcycle key, too. Let's see, we've got a dig site, a paper lantern... Oh my gosh, that's so adorable. Might have to buy that. And a farmhouse. Oh, that's actually kind of cute when it's common. Look at this, though. I love that they're all little frogs. Oh, get that. I don't think there's any lambus. Okay. Oh, okay. I read the books beforehand. I'm a real big stickler for trying to read the books before I watch a movie. And it's not because I think I'm, you know, any better or anything. It's just because I like to imagine it. And then after I, um, after I see the movie, it's all I can imagine. I can't. But for some reason, with Lord of the Rings, I just, I can't remember a lot of it. I remember the, the books were very different from the movie. Well, not very, very different, but... Oh, The Hobbit is really good, I think. The Hobbit was great. I'm going to be honest. Lord of the Rings was really dry. It was really hard to get through. It took me forever. There was a lot of descriptions about everything. Yes, they're really, like, when you get through all three of the Lord of the Rings, I was like, oh my gosh, thank goodness, I can finally go watch the movie. <laughs> but then the movies were different. Like, Shadowfax was supposed to be gray. That's why he's called Shadowfax. And then in the movie, they just made him white. And I was like, what kind of 
you know, creative liberty is that. He's totally the wrong color. This ruins the movie. <laughs> so, you know, most people were just enjoying the movie and I'm like, Shadowfax is the wrong color. I don't know why I even care about things like that. But I loved Shadowfax. He was my favorite character. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going in circles and digging holes. We've got our skipping stones. The only thing I don't have is the pond. Oh, wait, let me get this really quick. Since we have it. Oh, goodness. There's also the book um, Salamandastron. I think that's what it's called and I've not read that one either but I really would like to right now um, my daughter and I would like to read books every night that's what we do right before bedtime and we are reading a series called oh yes Salamander Strong what is that that's something too Similarian yes um, but Salamander Strong is something too I think that's like a game reference or I'm just making it up I could be just making it up it's most likely I'm just making it up but um, oh gosh what was I gonna say there oh we're reading um, we're reading a book called wings of fire and we're reading the first one and it's one that actually my daughter she specifically bought the first book because she loves this series so much and she wanted me to read it with her she's been listening to it on books on tape um as part of like the whole coronavirus thing the schools gave the kids access to all the books on tape so that they could um so that they could keep up and you know read books instead of having to go to the library and so she listened to the entire series it's like 14 different books she listened to it and then she listened to it again and then she listened to it again I think she's listened to it six times and then she used the money that I gave her for the book fair just to buy the first book so that we could read it together and it's it's um you know it's definitely like that young adult because it's a little bit it's a little bit edgier than the little kid books but um, it's kind of interesting it's a lot of fun it's about dragons yes See, I do want to read about that um, with Similarian, and I'm probably saying, yeah, Similarian, I think. Um, I know that he wrote an entire language, and I believe he was actually a linguist, and that's why he was so detailed and all that. He must have been very, very detailed-oriented in general. What have you got there? A bunch of skipping stones, huh? These should be just what I need. Thanks. Oh, thank you. Let's go donate some of this. Yeah. Well, and you know what? I think honest. Oops. Yeah, I do want to go see you. Um, didn't he also basically kind of set how everything is in, in fantasy? Like, I think that our idea of elves was more the traditional elvish um, kind of lore, you know, where it's like little green creatures and that kind of thing. Or like little Keebler elves in the tree making cookies or, you know, cobblers and that kind of thing. But he actually, I believe, was the one who brought about the concept of, elves as kind of these graceful regal elder creatures that we know and love today and so i don't know if that's accurate but i think so all right here we go i'll archive this right away i'll have to look that up and just make sure because like i said i i talk a lot of nonsense but i say it like i really believe it i say it with such confidence that it's very convincing sometimes I get an A for effort. Okay, 
we're gonna cheat on this one. I don't know where it is. Okay, hang on, I can't. I gotta try one more time. Let's check over here. Let's see. It's just behind something. Gotta give it a good try, otherwise it's, oh, look it, see? Yay! Oh my gosh, I love C.S. Lewis. He is an amazing writer as well. We started reading through the um, <clears throat> the Narnia books. And let me see, I think we did The Magician's um, Nephew. We did A Horse and His Boy. And I think we kind of stopped at that because we interject other books in between. And um, we've been doing something with my daughter every single year for the last three years where for Christmas she gets one of the Harry Potter books. <clears throat> and then we start to read it together and we'll read one book a year. And I did it that way because I wanted to make sure that <clears throat> she kind of grew up with it the way that we originally did. And it didn't get too dark too quickly for her because I think when we started she was like, seven so um i'm kind of excited so this christmas we'll be getting the fourth book and i think um let's see we just did the one where hermione was doing the time travel and all that good stuff but i don't remember everything because i have a terrible memory oh thank you i don't know what i'll do with these yet but it's good to see them again Maker Buddy, can I tell you something I've never told anyone? It's a little silly. Your secret is safe with me. I always have this secret dream that I never told anyone. I've always wanted to make jewelry. I know, I know. It's so impractical, so gaudy. It stands out. But still, for some reason, I keep thinking about it. Ah, look at this. There's a little space in the middle of these broken hearts. Just enough space, maybe, for something that sparkles? I have your sparkle, Jeremy! I had to kind of cough there, so I apologize. But we have his sparkle! I never knew that Jeremy wanted to be a jewelry maker. He should be true to his dreams. I think this game is so cool. All right, nine more logs. Oh, one for sale. Okay, let's see. Oops. Let's buy that. I'm going to sneeze. Hang on one moment. Okay, I am so sorry. There we go. Take my money. And we've got a young ornate bird, a young blood bird, a flower. Oh my gosh, that's going to be so gorgeous in one of the other colors. That would be beautiful in any color. I, except for maybe green. Green might be a little weird. We'll see. A diagnostic artifact for the adventurous scientist. An uncommon brick full table. That's actually quite pretty. It's like a gardening area. An anvil. A brazier pillar. And then we've got some new flowers. We've got some new blue potted tulips. I think I'm going to buy those, actually. Those are really pretty. And then we've got the peach lupines, the peach bee bombs, more peach bee bombs. But notice they're different colors. See that? So you have to get both of them. That way you can donate both of them. And also, I noticed this, BMO. There's raspberry bushes for sale. So if you need a raspberry, make sure you buy a raspberry bush. Ooh, a young blood bird. That one's cute, too. All right, I think... Oh, wait. We gotta check out Mr. Kit's other stuff. A jaunty beret. A long sleeve t shirt, a medical mask, and retro glasses. We look like we should be in Paris right now. 
a puffy coat, a cardigan, a romper, a cozy cap, spaghetti straps, and brune scarf. Oh wait, hairstyles too. I'd like a haircut. I love these. I think they're so cute. That one looks cute too. It looks so fitting with this hat. That one you can't even see. Medium curly. Let's see. Medium straight. Ooh, that one's quite nice too. I like that. It matches the flowers. That's a strong possibility, but then I couldn't go back to my red hair. <laughs> All right. I think it's going to be maybe two to three more days before, before we find our new friend. And I'm wondering if it's going to be the last one. Eight more logs before I'm full. I sense someone has a log they're eager to give you if you can help them. I can't. I've got two that I can't help now. Go check out Lee Berry Dennings. Mm. I want to buy something. A young sad bird, a young blood deer, an adult ornate deer. These are really expensive. They're 50,000 coins. And a young demon deer. They have very poofy tails. Oops. Come here. I'm just going to click. Hey, Space Burger, how are you? We were almost done in our day in Cozy Grove, unfortunately. I actually just finished all the quests. I'm doing really good, thank you. I, well, <laughs> I'm tired, but I'm doing really good. Let's do this. Oops. Okay, a mossy tombstone. I want to actually take a look at um, our new decorations, too. I'm just going to burn this. I should go feed that in, but... You know, he's all the way over there. <laughs> Okay, we can't put that in there, but maybe we can fit this in here. Oops. Let's go over here. I want to craft something. <clears throat> Let's see. That's the mossy tombstone. That actually looks quite cute. We've got the common farmhouse fence, and I think that's it. We've still got the barbed wire. I think it's kind of sorting everything for us, which is nice. Um, but I kind of want to make one of these, so I'm going to craft one. I'm going to go put that by Ted Saxon. I feel like it's very fitting for him to have all of the little tombstones because he's already got some over there. And I am going to craft multiple of these. Let's do that. Okay. It feels a little like you get robbed when you're like, here's here's like all of these iron ingots but I could only make three silver ones. <laughs> All right, I'm going to check my mailbox. Let's see. Ooh, Cheerio, plant a want, or plant a want scout. Catherine gave me some bad news the other day. There is a plant in the bedroom window we've been trying to keep alive, but the leaves keep going brown. So we trim them and try to make sure it has enough water, but not too much. Neither of us has a green thumb, but we keep trying. We are down to one leaf, and now that is going brown too. Still hopeful, Scoutmaster Blake. <laughs> you know, I think I'm a little bit of Scoutmaster Blake. 
I keep all of his letters because I think they're funny. <laughs> all right, we've got all this and then, oh yes, let's get this one. Let's see what this looks like. Discard that. I'm gonna leave that in there for now. I'm kind of making this like an underwater area. Oops, wrong one. Oh, that is not what I expected. What in the heck? Did you not say oarfish? Oh wait, that's the one Scout Master Blade gave me. <laughs> there we go, see? It's looking really nautical over here. You know, I uh, I just like him because he's just, he's such a silly ditz. <laughs> and so it kind of makes me chuckle. I never go back and read them. It's uh, not something that I, I, I don't know. I, maybe if I went through, I could see if there's some more in it. It probably would be a smart thing to do. I think there are mentions of like um, different curses on the island and that kind of thing, but it's been a while since I've read any of that. So I think you're right. Okay, well, we're gonna go put these over here really quick by Ted Sapson. With our little makeshift graveyard. There we go. Doesn't that look cute? We'll put this over here too. Looks like it fits. Rotate. Oh, you know, I think there was a message that did hint to Captain Bill Weather. You're gonna make me go look through it. I doubt anybody wants to watch me sift through my mail. So I'll probably do it off stream, but if I find it, I'll actually, I'll text it to you and I'll post it in Discord and that way you can read it. Um, if you can think of any others that you want, I probably find them as well because I have them all. But, um, all right, well, we've pretty much done everything that we have to do in Cozy Grove today. I might stream later, but I'm not certain. I probably won't because I'm so dead and uh, it's likely I'm just going to be talking nonsense and patting my stats again in uh, garden paws if I do. So I might stream tomorrow morning though if you guys are around and if not then you know I just appreciate you guys always coming on and supporting me. It really means a lot and I hope you enjoyed this day of Cozy Grove. I'll see you guys later.